Now you're looking at my beautiful Protea Cineroides, or King Protea. It's in bloom. It's its first blossom in five years, and I'm stoked. So some people call it a giant Protea, or a honey pot, or a king sugar bush. It has many names. It's a native to South Africa, and it has the largest flower head of any of the Proteas, as you can see. It's huge. I mean, look at that thing. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, and it's not even fully open. I think it's going to be probably open like this for a few weeks at least. Now there are 81 varieties. I think this is more of a standard one. I don't know exactly the variety. But some uh, are the pinks and reds in here. Some can be more red or pink. These are more common. Um, but they could have more white and creamy yellow, which I see in here as well. So I don't know if it's rare or not, but it, I don't care. It's stunning. So you can see our video here. We'll put a link right here so you can see um, on how to care for this type of this plant. We've done a video on it already. Now this flower will have a long vase life and it's great as a dried flower as well. So you could enjoy it for a very long time. Now the plant grows three to five feet uh, tall and four to six feet wide. Now um, it's hardy to about 28 degrees and I plant it in part sun in Southern California, as you can see. So it's actually under a queen palm and some Mexican weeping bamboo. Give it well-draining soil and maybe a little bit of mulch, but do not fertilize this plant. Proteas do not like phosphorus. So I have never fertilized it and it's doing great. So you can also grow them in a pot if you'd like, um, but I grow it in the ground. We have pretty well draining soil here. So there you go, a Protea, King Protea in bloom. Give you one more beautiful shot in the wind. It's a stunning flower. So give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Dude, it's creepy.